So I'm really privileged to have Roy here, who's a botanist, and he's been an enthusiast of plants, all things related to cacti and plants and shrubs. And he's with me on this first expedition, and I asked him an important question, in my view. Uh, what, what species was the burning bush? So in my explorations today, the most likely candidate for the burning bush is a wild species of pistachio. They're the largest shrubs I've encountered on today's hike, and they are around on the mountain. And uh, that, that would be my best guess as far as the species is concerned. All right, so you've got a big one right behind you. Right. And we've got a smaller one right in front of us. So that could be your candidate for the burning bush. Absolutely. I want to zoom in on the berries. These are not fully ripened, but uh, the other shrub has redder berries. Pistachia is the genus. Okay, now I heard about another plant that supposedly gives off some gas that, that's flammable, but we don't think it's a natural event anyway. Does that uh, ring true to you at all? So the species in question is the, uh, the Dictamnus. I uh, don't believe it grows anywhere near here, so it's, it's commonly planted in gardens in North America and on warm evenings people can go out and light a match next to it and, and get uh, a flash of uh, fire out of it. I highly doubt that that is, has anything to do with the, the true burning bush of the Moses uh, narrative. Well, you've heard it here from Roy. We really have an expert. Every single trip we're blessed with an expert in some area. And uh, that really settles the question for me. So a pistachio species a is... Species of, yeah, pistachia lentisiformis or pistachia something else, cyanaticus. I'm not even sure. I'd have to check on what has been categorized for this area. All right, but this is the only real big shrub going on here. Right, right. So that's, that's the key there. Right. Well, thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you for joining the tour. Absolutely, my pleasure. Uh -huh.